Hello everyone, Vegas Dave here. It is Friday, June 7th, 2013. And myself being here in Las Vegas over 30 years, I know a lot of people, a lot of good handicappers. And the other day, uh, I had Pat the Picker, who's a very well known sports handicapper around here in Las Vegas. And he's given out a couple predictions. He had Game 7 right with the Pacers, and he also had last night's game right. These are, these, some of these old fellers are very, very wise. But a lot of times, I like to do a follow-up call with these guys and just get their input and get some information maybe for the remainder of the series. So we're going to go ahead... We're, and we're going to give Pat the picker a call here and see what he's got to say. Hello. Hello, Pat the picker. This is Vegas Dave here. Hey. You're on the air. How you doing? Good. Okay. Let's get to game seven. I want to go over game seven with you with the Pacers and the Heat. Okay, your prediction in that series, well, not the series, but Game 7 in particular, you were right on the money with the under in that game, correct? Right. Okay, and yesterday's game, your top play, Pat the Picker came out with his top play in Game 1 with the under in the, in the Spurs and the Miami Heat in Game 1, which was another winner. Now, what did you see in this, after watching this game one, what caught your eye? I mean, was it, was, was it that the Miami Heat was a little tired playing the full seven games with the Pacers? Well, it seemed like they were struggling a little bit uh, towards the end, towards the last seven minutes of the fourth quarter. So that's what the overdone them. Now I think this next game, I think you got to like Miami. Okay, the line in this game, now, game one, the line was five and 189 and a half. Now, for game two, they open up, the, the line in this game is Miami Heat minus six, with the total being 187 and a half. I mean, I don't understand. Now, after the Heat losing game one and being a five-point favorite, now, not only did the point, it go up a point, I mean, I don't understand that. What's your thinking behind that? My, my opinion is that uh, Miami got all the shots they wanted in the game. And I feel that if they didn't get tired in the fourth quarter, they would have won the game easy. So I think Miami's going to be good this game, the second game, minus the six. So you you would you would say take my so your prediction for game two is Miami Heat minus six. Right. Okay. Okay. Because they got everything they wanted in the first game. Okay. As I my prediction, I, I like the Heat or not the Heat, but the Spurs throughout the whole series. I predicted the Spurs to win this series. Now, who do you think is going to win this set, this series here? Well, I think Miami's going to win the series. Oh, do you? Yeah. So you're going against me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Because of the fact of one thing. San Antonio don't rebound well. They don't rebound well. Okay. So I feel that Miami will eventually take them over. I feel that the, this will go seven games, but I think Miami will be the champ. So your prediction is the Miami Heat in seven. Right. Okay. Well, you have to get. You have to admit. You have to give the Spurs an advantage after winning Game One, and if they come out this Game Two and they steal this Game Two, look out. I mean, I don't understand. No, who's gonna guard? 
Nobody could guard Parker. Who's going to guard Parker? Well, they did. I'll tell you what. They, they did a pretty good job overall containing uh, LeBron. In a way, no, they didn't because LeBron had 18, 18. Well, he had a triple double. He had he had his he had a great game. He had a great game. But what I'm trying to get at is he didn't get everybody else involved. He didn't get everybody else involved. Right. But the thing is this. You understand? This is a critical game. I think that Miami will come out playing. Miami got everything they wanted. Only thing is, they didn't make the shots when it got it. Well, let me ask you this. It seems to me, Wade came out and had a strong first half, being aggressive, going to the rim, and then the second half, it seemed, it seemed like the Spurs made the correct adjustments at the half. Which t totally took Wade pretty much out of the game in the second half. And I think yeah, that was a big key. Yeah, but you see what happened is, Bosch ain't supposed to play way out on three-point land. He's no three-point shooter. You know something, I, t I, I really agree with you. And I've been say saying that to a lot of other people. I don't understand why Bosch is out, out on the three-point line. Why is he not using his size to an advantage, going to the rim, being aggressive, trying to get the, the three-point play. In that situation... He's good anywhere inside I agree. the foul line. I agree. And if you, in that situation, when the game's on the line, you want if you are going for a three-pointer, who do you want to be? You sure don't want Bosch out there taking a three. Right. That was the most stupidest play I ever seen. That 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 was really unbelievable. But Le, LeBron drove the lane and he dished it off to Bosch. Bosch was wide open. I mean, LeBron didn't have. I mean, that you can't fault LeBron. LeBron made the perfect pass. He was wide open. But I believe what Bosch should have did was drive right to the hoop. The yeah, the lane was wide open. He had a wide open lane. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so, okay, so Pat, your prediction, Pat the Picker's prediction in game two is take Miami Heat minus the six points, and his prediction also is Miami and seven. Right. So, okay, we're going to we're gonna have to wait and see. And, uh, so far, Pat's been right on the money. He's a very well-known sports handicapper here in Las Vegas. And he's respected not not only by myself, but by a lot of other people. Okay, Pat, we want to thank you for your input. And we're going to be talking to you after game two to see what you have to say and do the follow-up after game two. So thank you for spending the time, and you have a good night, Pat. You too. I'll talk to you later, Dave. Okay, buddy.